So let's introduce you to one of the most beautiful kitchens we've ever done. Black walnut, natural finish, raised panels. Look at this one here, we got a Smoky Mountain granite. We got a chiseled edge on the front. We got a double roll out garbage can. Over here under the sink, we got a pull out unit under there. We got a small stainless under mount sink right there. Over here, we've got a walk in pantry. Pantry with a full coffee bar. We've got a stainless under mount sink in there. Door mount garbage can. And we've got open floating shelves all the way up around here. Lazy Susan in the corner there. And then we've got a corner drawer underneath. Broom closet built in here. Then moving into the kitchen, we've got a full, full pantry here with pull out units. Refrigerator, the wall oven put in here. Got a cool little place for the dog bowls there built in under the cabinets. And here again we have corner drawers in the corner. Got a built-in place for the microwave here to get up off the counter. Roll out garbage can with a cutting board on top. We've got the little hole in the back. Use your cutting board, throw the stuff right down the hole. Got a half bull nose edge on the countertop in here. We had a custom sized drawer built in here for the knife block to fit in. Right beside the cooktop and right beside the cutting board dishwasher in here. Pull out unit under the sink. And on this side, we had a couple inches we had to build a support there, so we turned this into a little spice rack. A little bit of usable space right there. A commercial grade range hood. We were able to hide it all inside of the cabinet, and then all the, the hardware unit is up here and events outside. We've got a full height backsplash behind the cooktop, and then we got these cool little windows right here up underneath our cabinets. Built in silverware drawer in the island here. And then one of the coolest features we have, something we've never actually done before, we've got this giant granite top dining table. It's an 80 inch circle. We've got chiseled edge on there. Underneath we've got a, a wooden surround all the way around there. And there's actually a steel frame inside of there. You can see that in one of our other videos. Um, building all that steel framework and so on to support all of that. And then there's a plug-in right in the center there that can pop up if you want to use that. As you notice, all of our end panels are raised panel everywhere. We don't have any flat sides, so it's all custom made, custom designed, built to fit. On the back side of the island, we've got some seating area here next to the dining table. And then we had a chase built in here. So we've got a granite riser on here so we can separate the sink from the dining area. And then we also had a plug-in put in the back of that there as well. We come on into the master bathroom here. So we got cherry cabinets in here, granite top as well. We got rectangular undermount sinks in here, champagne waterfall faucets, cherry with just a clear finish on that, and champagne knobs. Tip outs under all the sinks. And then in the master bedroom, we built in these cabinets on the wall. We got built in dressers with cabinet work on them as well. We got a stained red oak cabinet in here, just a small vanity, granite top, and again the rectangular trench sinks, and a waterfall faucet. So this is a super fun project, a big project. It turned out super cool, we're very happy with everything turned out. Hopefully we get to do another one just about like Thanks for watching.